Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. This is the Balder BB Show broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio with me? So um, I'm Brian Moorward, and I actually am an MS patient, and I'm also joined here with Rachel. I'm Rachel Stakem. I'm a nurse practitioner that works in, in multiple sclerosis. Thank you so very much. I know that it's MS Awareness Month, it and is. I've told my audience it's time to celebrate the heroes. Rachel, would you set the medical platform for us? What is MS? Sure. Well, MS is a chronic disease that um, affects the central nervous system. The central nervous system is comprised of your brain, your spinal cord, and your optic nerve. So for some reason in those living with MS, their immune system gets confused and sees the central nervous system as foreign and attacks it. That's one of the best explanations on a synopsis <laughs> format that I've heard. Thank you for that. I want to go to Brian. Yeah. Brian, you're living with MS? Correct. So I've been living with MS for about nine years now, and this initiative that is started by Biogen and MS World is that hashtag, as you mentioned, hashtag um, my support hero. Um, it's a great way where I can actually thank caregivers like Rachel, who's a nurse, and also my caregiver, Charlie, who helps me on a daily basis, um, to thank them because they're kind of the unsung heroes that don't really want the recognition and they kind of get overshadowed by the patient living with MS. And they do so much for the patient living with MS that it also affects their daily life and can cause them stress and emotional issues. So so it's a great way to go to AboveMS.com and learn more about this amazing initiative that has been started for um, the MS Awareness Month. Thank you so much for that. Rachel, let me ask you, mm -hmm. I'm meeting people who are actually uh, uh, sharing that they're living with MS, mm -hmm. but it seemed to be in the past, I'll say the past decade, it seemed to be such a debilitating disease that people did not have a long life. Is this new medical breakthroughs? Well, actually, I, 20 years ago, we had our first treatment that became available, a little over 20 years ago. Before that, since the 1800s, MS has been around, and it was incurable. So we used to say, you know, there used to be expression, diagnose and adios. But as in, you know, 1993, the first treatment became available, and now we have several options. So I do think there is a breakthrough. I, you know, with these... With these disease modifying treatments, we are able to alter the disease course. And so, people who in, historically might have become disabled, we're now able to prevent disability, um, okay. which is great. Biogen is, is providing their support. Once again, how do everyday people tap into this? Like I said, I'm meeting them. I am probably mm -hmm. because of mm -hmm. what I do. Mm -hmm. How do they tap into this? So, I think the best way for these people to tap into this, you need to go to above. MS.com. It's a great educational resource for the MS community, and that's where they can learn a lot about how they can actually thank those um, support heroes in their lives. But it's a great resource for the MS community, so I definitely recommend going to AboveMS.com. I want to ask you, Brian, because mm -hmm. you are actually, I call it people that are, who are walking the walk. Huh. How is it when you live with a long term disease or state? How, how, how do you survive? How do you go forward? Well, it's, you know, it's a very unpredictable disease. You know, um, you know, I may look very healthy on the outside, but in the inside, my, uh, my central nervous system can be going crazy. So, um, you know, day to day is different, but I think you have to have a really positive attitude. And as Rachel said, um, you need to really be, you need to have a good support system, a community, just like this, this um, AboveMS.com. It's a great educational resource that I can look at and get some information that I need. But having a good 
good community and having these support heroes is a great way that I get through it. But every day is different. Um, like one day I could lose some feeling on my right side, the next like hour I can be fine. So it's a very unpredictable disease, but I think you need to stay on top of it and try to have a positive. It's very difficult to have a positive attitude, but it's actually kind of key to deal with this disease. Brian, thank you for that way for my listening audience, because I know there's someone listening that has a loved one or themselves. Right. Thank you so very much. And Rachel, thank you for giving us that medical advice. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.